Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's take a look at how to automatically clean obsolete objects or files from your S3 bucket using lifecycle rules. This tutorial builds on my previous two videos and in those videos, I show you how to set up serverless email for a custom domain using nothing but uh, AWS services. In those videos, I use AWS SES, that's Simple Email Service, as an SMTP endpoint for your website or for your newsletter distribution software. Uh, we also used AWS S3 to store incoming emails. And I also showed you how to set up a uh, AWS Lambda function to forward those incoming emails stored on S3 to any uh, destinations. And in, that, in my case, it was a Gmail email address. If we are forwarding those emails, then we also need to clean up the S3 bucket of those old emails. Otherwise, they will take up storage and drive up your cost. So with lifecycle rules, you can routinely have AWS delete older objects or files automatically. And that is what I will show you how to set up now. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started, let's just go ahead and recap the services that you should already have set up based on the previous two videos. So you should have your simple email service and in here you should have your domain verified and set up. You should also have the email addresses that you want to set up for incoming as well as the forwarding email address if you don't have your production access enabled. Um, you should also have your SFTP information set up with the credentials as well. I don't have that, but you should have it if you follow the tutorial. And then finally, you should have rule sets set up to forward the incoming emails through to the S3 bucket, as well as um, configure the Lambda function to uh, uh, trigger based on incoming emails. Uh, so additionally, you should also have an S3 bucket set up, S3 bucket set up here that is storing all the incoming emails from your email address. And finally, the last service that you should have set up is the Lambda function. This is a Lambda function that will forward those S3 items over to any end destination that you have set up. In my case, I set it up to send uh, forward the emails to my email uh, Gmail address. All right, so let's go back to the S3 bucket and we'll take a look at what we have in there. So in the S3 bucket, as you'll see here that I have email, emails that are just sitting here. So what we want to do here is set up a lifecycle rule to clean this bucket out routinely of old emails that we no longer need because most of those should have already been forwarded to our uh, destination. So what we'll do here is click on management and then click on create lifecycle rule. and give your rule a name, clean uh, emails, or I guess let me say clean old emails, um, then choose the scope. And what we'll do here is just, this rule will apply to all the objects. You could uh, limit the scope of this rule to by um, using filters, like if you had a, a prefix that you wanna go off of or a tag that you wanna go off of. But for our case, we'll just pick so uh, this rule applies to all objects and this makes you acknowledge that as well. And then, then what we'll do is we'll say transition current items, previous item, um, actually we'll say expire permanently and delete. So here, these last three boxes will uh, check boxes once you enable them, give you some options down here. And for what we'll do here is we'll say five days. So this is the number of days that the object has been sitting in S3 storage before it gets deleted. So, and you can change that based on what you want to prefer. If you want to change, delete them every 30 days, then you could just uh, put 30 days. But for, for my purpose, I'll just do five days, five days as well. And we'll uh, go ahead and do that and click on 
delete incomplete multi-part uploads, and the number of days, five. So once we have that set up, we just hit create rule, and that's pretty much it. This rule will now run automatically, and after an email has received five days after that, it will delete it and expire it. That way it will not take up storage on your S3 bucket and add to your cost. That was it. I just wanted to show you that one last piece of uh, creating a serverless email service for a custom domain um, that is very cheap and cost effective and it's easy to use. I uh, hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you run into any issues or if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Um, please watch all my other videos. Like I mentioned, this is a third video part of my email setup using serverless uh, services. So go ahead and watch those previous two videos. And I also have videos on WordPress tips, um, also on WordPress, scaling WordPress on LightCell, setting up WordPress in a variety of ways on LightCell. So if you haven't checked them out, go ahead and check them out. Uh, like, comment, and share on those videos. And uh, until the next video, take care.